Hello my lovely fragrance family, how are you doing today? It's Priyanka here. In today's video, we're going to go after the wheel. What wheel is that? The fragrance wheel. The fragrance wheel as we know it has a lot of different names in there. It's got a lot of different colors happening in there. There's a lot of subtitles in there. So it basically what it does is just creates different fragrance families and different fragrance subfamilies around those families sort of like a fragrance family tree if you may and this is used to basically simplify and classify and demarcate perfume families in the sense that if a fragrance is woody it'll go on a woody side if a fragrance is fresh it'll go on the fresh side if a fragrance is balsamic it will go on to a different side and that's basically what a fragrance wheel does it's kind of like an organizational chart of fragrance families the one place where fragrance wheels may come really handy is especially when you are shopping online say for a brand that doesn't have any physical locations that you can go try and test out at first and you just have to buy entirely online like uh, with sense of wood this is a great brand that does subscription packages as well for really really affordable prices but at the same time if you're doing something like a blind buy and you're not too sure about what you want to really experiment with um, a fragrance wheel will tell you exactly what goes where and you'll be like oh I like this oh I like that oh I don't like this and that is exactly how you can help choose a fragrance for yourself this is also help me understand better which fragrances I lean more towards to and which I don't naturally reach out for so much and it's really helped me expand my fragrance palette by going for those fragrances that I don't really go for so much because then I get to smell them more I get to experience them and I also sometimes find some really awesome hidden gems in them very honestly speaking the fragrance wheel can be as simple as you view it to be or as complicated but do not get overwhelmed by any super complicated fragrance wheels that's why I'm here to simplify this for you over the course of this edu series what I want to do is break down every single fragrance family and subfamily for you and then to first give you an overview of these families and then a more fundamental understanding of them since we are officially in the summer now I would like to start off with the fresh fragrance family because that would be more relevant for this season and then I would like to progress into more heavy or denser fragrance families as the seasons change when it comes to fresh fragrances this could mean a myriad of things it could mean solar it could mean aquatic herbaceous green blue so many different things basically a massive variety of subfamilies that fit under the fresh category these could also be mingled with a variety of other fragrance families so say if you have a citrus that you want to do with a woody fragrance so you'd have a citrus woody sort of fragrance family mingling happening over there the possibilities in perfumery honestly are limitless and that is the joy of this very field if you do have any any questions for the fresh family to begin with please feel free to put them down in the comments here or to DM me or comment on Instagram I would be more than happy to demystify this entire family for you or the little subfamilies as well it could be anything at all it could be about maybe a particular fragrance it could be maybe about a particular chemical that you find in it maybe a note that's there in it or just to understand what the fresh structure is like I hope you enjoyed today's sweet and short video as always make sure if you haven't already to subscribe to my channel go like this video as well to show your support and make sure to share it with your friends so they can view this as well and they can send me their questions too I'll see you super soon take care and have a good evening ahead bye